Hey there, welcome to the 30th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. We've already looked at event handlers, and in this tutorial, we're going to give you a brief introduction to event listeners. An event listener is a method that looks for an event on a target, just like an event handler, uh, but it has a slightly different syntax and it allows you to listen for more than the same type of event on a single target, uh, whereas an event handler won't let you do that. And I'll explain to you what I mean uh, later on in this tutorial. So uh, there are some examples of event listeners uh, are click, double click, mouse over out, key up, down, scroll, resize, which is part of the window object, focus, blur, and load. You can see more events at, on the Mozilla Developer Network link in this JS fiddle here. So this tutorial will give you a brief overview of just the click event listener. Uh, we'll do the rest of them in the next tutorial, so please come back and watch the 31st tutorial. So let's look at the syntax of an event listener. So an event listener starts out with the element that you're looking at, whether it's an ID or a class or whatever you're listening for, uh, followed by add event listener, again, camel case, E and the L are capitals, followed by the event. Uh, if you remember from event handlers, everything has the word on in front of everything, so it'll be on click, on mouse over, on key up. Uh, event listeners do not use that, so it'll just be event or click or mouse over or key up, uh, no space. Uh, and not camel case or lowercase, uh, followed by the keyword function. Uh, most of the time it's an anom anonymous function, but you can always pass in uh, parameters uh, or even the event itself. And inside curly braces, you would do something when that event takes place. So let's take a look at some examples. I have set up in my HTML here a couple of buttons. Uh, some of these are commented out because it's from an old tutorial. Um, and let's start coding. The first thing we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to do document dot get element by ID name. Uh, I'm going to get the the button name dot add event listener click and an anonymous function. In curly braces. We'll just do a simple alert. Alert. I have been clicked. Let's close this. Let's run this, and when I click on this, we get this. I have been clicked, blah, blah, blah. That's all. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's keep going. Some more practice. We'll do document.getElement by ID. We're going to target name again. Dot add event listener. Click function. Let's do var name equals to this dot get attribute. ID, just like the event listener, event handler tutorial, excuse me. Uh, we're going to do document.getElement by ID, user action dot value dot equals to name plus concatenate has been clicked. So when someone clicks on the name button, let me close this before I forget, uh, in the text box here it will say it will say name has been clicked. Uh, I could probably name this button name. Let's do this button name so that it's a little bit more clearer. So the button name has been clicked. So let's run this. If I click on this, we get I have been clicked the alert. This is my first event listener. OK, and name has been clicked. Now, I'm showing you this this way instead of putting uh, this piece of code in this event listener is that you can target the same type of event, so a click on the exact same element later on in your script without running into issues. Whereas when you're doing event handlers, uh, most likely it will take the last event that you have typed in your code because last come first serve. Whereas event listeners will go through everything you have. That's one of the differences. That's one of the uh, uh, one of the benefits of using event listeners is that you can have multiple types of events, multiple of the same event on the same target. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, but please feel free to ask. Let's do one more. We'll do document.get element by ID city dot add uh, whoops event listener. We'll do click function open close parentheses. Remember open close brackets. And we'll do uh, I'm just gonna copy this over. There we go. Do update run. So now if I click on name, it triggers two events, one there, one here. And then if I do city, it says city has been clicked. Pretty easy, right? Uh, if you understand event handlers, this should be fairly easy for you. Uh, 
in the next tutorial come back and I'll go over the rest of these uh, examples that I have here uh, I won't do on load I've cover that using the onload event handler is pretty much the same thing once you know how to do it once you can do it over and over again uh, with different types of events uh, if you have any questions please ask in the comments below I hope you found this intro to event listeners useful uh, come back for the next tutorial and thanks for watching remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials have a good one